Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. After the day I have chosen the Charmant Goffron Corvette Mark 1 which is this thing right here. So it's a very long Corvette, it's got some guns on there, it's not completely overkill. It's got a few turrets on the outside, we've got two rocket launchers at the front that we can control. It's got iron, it's got hydrogen, it's got atmospheric thrusters on it. It's got a fairly large interior, it's nothing too crazy and it just handles really well. So pressing F10 and finding the Charmin to Gothrin, there it is. This ship weighs in at 2,632 large blocks. It requires the decorative block DLC pack and it does feature some mods that are not listed on the workshop. I did just ram in as many mods as I could as this world could even handle in fact before it crashed and I did find one of them which was the rotary airlock mod but there is still one mod which is linked to conveyors that I could not find. But the ship seems to work without it so I'm not going to linger on that any longer. So let's start by going around the outside, just get a good look at the detail on it and then we'll go on the interior, have a little fly around, visit some pirates which are actually in this world right over there and then maybe end it with a crash. So at the very front here we have got red, white and black colourings which is the main colour going all the way around this ship. At the very front we have a camera to view dead forwards and that has been surrounded by two rocket launchers which is our only controllable weapons. We have two spotlights and then below that we've got two hydrogen thrusters and three ion thrusters and just some nice colour patterns. I will just bring the sun back around because it does seem to like to be a bit odd on this planet. There we go that will sort of do. And yes, right above all this, we have one Gatling turret with a laser antenna and some more Gatling guns there, but I'll come back to that when I go over the top. So coming around the side here, we've got one little light at the very front and then another light which has been overrun by thrusters. So we've got five ion thrusters, we have got nine hydrogen thrusters to help us on the left and the right. So with the amount of thrusters on this, we are perfect for space and planetary traversal. Moving along this long part of the ship we've got just a little bit of block work there just to stop it from being a rectangle. Then as we move along we've got two Gatling guns on the side there in a nice red colour that does a link all the way around up the top there and onto the opposite side. And as we come more along here we've got one little bump which has some landing gears hidden inside it which is a neat way of hiding it because landing gear can be quite an ugly block, especially when you need to put one on the ship and you don't know how to hide it, they do tend to stick out like a sore thumb. Then as we move along to our first little thruster pod we come past our main cockpit but I will come back to that in just a minute, where we have one large hydrogen thruster to help stop us, then moving around even more hydrogen thrusters to once again help with the left and the right. And then right behind it, so the same on both sides, we've got four large hydrogen thrusters which is perfect to push this ship along. It's not too slow and it's not crazy fast, it's just a good mixture of having speed but also having some weight to it. So at the dead back here we've got two antenna which you could use to reverse and ram into people but we also have one spotlight to make sure you can always find that entrance down there and we have got eight ion thrusters. Now for these little pods on the side, we've been connected via this white block here. If I come through, you can see that we do have a conveyor which is linking the main body of the ship to these little thrust pods which is how the hydrogen thrusters are getting all of their hydrogen. So if that gets shot out, then you're going to have a little bit of trouble and could potentially come crashing down. Now you probably saw this on my right hand side but through these windows, we of course got some atmospheric thrusters which does look good being hidden away like that. And then we have up here we've got our main bridge which is just a lovely glass piece with some flight seats and some control seats inside but I'll come back to that a bit later. Then moving along if we just come up and above actually. Yeah so up and above we've got two laser antenna at the back there which are mainly for decoration 
At the top here, we do have a quick way in and out to the main bridge, which is a rotary airlock. Moving along the top there, we just got some nice coloured blocks. And as we come down to the main body of the ship, we've got some more iron thrusters. We've got a atmospheric thruster, stairs going down inside the ship. So there are plenty of ways to get in and out of this. You're not just going to be forced into one doorway, which many ships do do. But yes, we can then just move along there. We've got some auction farms, which are connected up to a conveyor. And then a different coloured auction farm there just to make sure you've got enough oxygen in here. A connector on the top there, so if you need to put a small ship on here, you can do more hydrogen thrusters. One of them has been disconnected, so if I just drop down here, you can see what I mean by there looks like a conveyor mod is missing, but I could not find it after adding about six or so mods. I just don't know which mod it is, so I'm just going to leave it. Then we come across past some more lights, more Gatling turrets, more hydrogen thrusters, a laser antenna at the top, and... Yes, we're back at the very start. Just dropping down and coming underneath, we've got spotlights, a lot of spotlights underneath, which is very useful when trying to land this at night. We have another raised part, which has a landing gear hidden inside. We then come across to here, where we have a camera that views backwards. Yes, we view towards the back of the ship, which helps us connect up this connector here to wherever we needed to connect it. So a station, a base, or another vehicle. It just helps a lot. Yes, next to that convector, convector. Next to that conveyor, we've got some more iron thrusters, two large hydrogen thrusters, another camera to view straight down, which is very useful once again. Using both these cameras together, it's going to make connecting that connector a hell of a lot easier. And then moving along, we've got more spotlights. These are the two raised blocks I talked about earlier, which have their landing gear inside. Two large atmospheric thrusters, which are the ones which have the windows on either side more spotlights, then towards the back, even more spotlights. So yeah, it's a bloody fantastic design, and you could, if you really wanted to, just ignore the iron thrusters and just use this as a hydrogen and atmospheric ship if the thruster components are just too expensive to make, or you don't have the resources to build them. Yes, it does look rather fancy. But now it's time to get inside. We've got plenty of ways to get into this ship. We can come down this door. We can go to this doorway behind the main bridge. Or we could come down to here and go through this. So we've got some steps here. We've got our rotary airlock, which we can just stand on. Close it up. And we have a little funny symbol there. But we can just ignore that because that's part of the mod. And now we're in the main body of the ship. We've got our DLC projector table. We've got some DLC planters, locker... We then have a gravity generator. We've got lights in here, but it is still a little bit dark. And yes, we can come to this side where we've got some more planters. We've got our medical bay, and we do have a rotary airlock up there, which I seem to think is missing maybe a ramp mod. I did put a few stairs mods in here, but yeah, I couldn't find it. There is a separate way of just going through here, opening this up. Then you can come up these steps all the way around, and now we're up over here. So yeah, that is the other way of getting into the ship. But yes, there is something missing there. Dropping down and coming around, we have this. We have two cockpits on the ship. One at the very top on the bridge, which is surrounded by the glass. And then we have this one in here, which is super protected in basically the heart of the ship, where we can get into it and just use the cameras in order to fly the ship. It's just a nice alternative to have. It's always useful to have two cockpits on a ship. You should never know when one might get blown up. Then coming up these very steep stairs all the way around, we will then eventually make our way to the glass bridge, which is right there. And there is the other entrance. So right here, we just open this up. And this is the back of the ship. We got in through down there. And yes, we can just walk around up here if we wanted to. And then when we're done, just come back through here and through the rotary airlock. Then we can come through this one. There we are. It is always nice to have those types of mods on there, because if you don't use the mods, you would have to settle for double doors, which often take up too much space. Yes, this is our main bridge. We've got air vents on both sides, and we can just walk around here. We've got a very good view all the way around us, so we can see if anything is damaged, like the thruster there, front of the ship. Yeah, just a fantastic view from this cockpit. Two control seats on this with nothing on there, but if you wanted to, you could just go and find one of the turrets. There we go. You could just find one of the turrets on there and take control of it. 
And then you just use this one to pummel your enemies if you wanted to manually control them. Or you could come over to this, which is the second flight seat, which allows us to fly around. Now we do have some controls on here, but this is largely a passive ship where you're going to let the turrets deal with the enemies. And if you needed to blast a static object, you would use the rockets at the front. So number one is our hydrogen thrusters, but not all our hydrogen thrusters, just the ones that make us reverse. So if I press backwards, you can see that we're not going very fast. But if I toggle number one, we then get a lot more speed. Number two is our cruise control, where if I press it, we can then just push ourselves forwards like so. I'm actually kind of amazed that's working on an alien planet. I didn't think iron thrusters would work here, but apparently they do. Yes, number three is to turn them off. And number four is a remote control, but you will have to come over to there because the blocks connected onto it are disconnected because one of the mods are missing. But you can take remote control of this if you needed to. So say you jumped out of this and you're on the ground, you can simply press I with remote control, take control of it and just float it down to the ground to let yourself get into it. It's always a nice thing to have. Number five is the camera at the very front. So we just look forwards. There's that. Number six is our landing gear to lock it. So those landing gear down there, we just bring ourselves to the ground, press number six and we'll lock in place. Number seven is our connector to lock it on and off. Number eight is to view backwards where we can see our connector right there in a very good position. Number nine is to view down. So there's that. And then on tab number two, we got stuff which are for the jump drives. Number one is to jump. Number two is to change the range. Then we have the antenna distance, antenna on and off, turrets on and off, and number nine is the rocket launcher. So there's that. Tab number three, we have nothing on. So now it's time for a quick little thruster test while I go over to the pirates. So going forwards, we got quite a lot of speed, like I said, but it's not too crazy, but it is good for this size of ship. Stopping as well is brilliant. And then going backwards is slightly slower, but still bloody fantastic for this size of ship. Going left. And then going right again, we've got a nice amount of speed thanks to all those hydrogen thrusters. Going down. And going up. There we go. We've got a good amount of speed there. So it's a very well balanced ship, which is quite a rare thing when it comes to large ships. And then wiggling my mouse around, we've got a nice amount of control. There is some weight there, it's not too floaty. But yeah, it's a really well balanced ship. We can see those sneaky little pirates hanging out over there. So that's who we're going to go and attack. The rockets are ready. We can now turn that off because we can see them. We can view that person, in fact, while we're floating over there. I might need to have that on so I can see their distance. Yeah, this ship is a really well-made one. So we are 2.7 kilometers and they do have a drone assembly facility there, which could prove to be a little bit of a problem. It's a nice little base actually. I might go and steal that. Here we go. Starting to get closer. We can start our bombardment. There goes the turrets on this ship. We might need to turn a little bit to allow the turrets to start firing. There we go. There's no need for me to start shooting the rockets. In fact, there we go. We can tip ourselves a little bit more to maximize the amount of cannon guns firing. But that base doesn't know what hit them. Their turret on front has been disabled. The turrets are still going. It looks like we are taking a little bit of damage, but not too much. Those turrets are going to keep working. Turret at the front looks like it's been disabled, and it looks like the pirates are trying to get rid of those rockets there. Yes, there's not too much they can do. I can come around and start to launch in some rockets, but I think they have fully disabled me. Yes, they have. So the final thing I can think of doing to get rid of these pesky pirates is ram them. So here we go, we're just going to get a nice distance between us and then it's time to go forward. So let's start stopping. And here we go, full speed ahead, straight into them. 
let's just get rid of that because we, we don't need that, do we? Then it's time just to fly straight into them. Let's get rid of them like this. In we go. Yeah, your Gatling guns will not stop this. Oh my. Straight through them. Oh dear, oh dear. Wow. Okay, I thought we actually went through them, but it looks like we lost the entire front of the ship. How about that? And of course, we've got no more power in our thrusters because all our hydrogen tanks are gone. We'll need just to break out of here and get a better look at this. Yeah, look at that. So that's the type of crash I always hope to get, where I'm often left disappointed and only bounce maybe the front blocks away. But that was a bloody brilliant crash. And we can see there we sort of merged into the pirate base to the point where we could use this as an actual base. We've got doors there. We can walk around here. Plenty of conveyors to connect stuff up to. Yeah, that's about it for the Charmant Goffron Corvette. Hopefully I am saying that correctly, so I quite often get that wrong. But anyway, this ship will be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.